Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just What I Am Playing Octopath Traveler 2. Last episode we finished off basically the final, um, semi-final <laughs> chapter of, um, of... What am I talking about? Of oh, Hikari in any case, whatever. We, in any case, just finished off basically all of the, uh, semi-final chapters of all of the characters. Um, the only things that are left now are, I think, in any case, like, all of them are level 45, so I'm... And they, they seem like the end of the story, so I'm pretty sure those are the end, uh, stories. Anyway. In this episode, we are going to go and make our way over to the new towns. That is the idea. Getting XP on the way. We also go and turn it to night, because I get increased XP. Basically. Kind of. Maybe. I'm still... You know, I'm not sure anymore, but whatever. At least I get the best from the throne in my party now, so. Okay. Um, is there anything weak against... No. <laughs> Do you even have, like, anything... I guess you have Veil of Darkness, but... Yeah, no. You don't really have much to deal with. These boys. Hmm. Let's see. I do have the lightning elemental. For the elementals! Here I go. Um, I guess I can go for this. Nine hundred damage. No. Why would you do such a thing? Pierce the wings of frost. Hmm. I've seen worse methods. I've not even been down here. Here I go. Axe attack. What to do? You're too kind. Right. You know, I should probably give um Okay, moment while I'm thinking. Come on, then. Right. I should probably give uh Throne the the why can I not think of the job? I've seen worse methods. The inventor job, there we go. That's actually one of the other reasons why I really want to like go uh, to the new times now. Is so I can hopefully get some more bits for the inventor job. Right. Um, do you have... No, there's much better stuff. Nicer. Um, let me just go and check to see if... We are all... Nicely geared up. Well, for the most part, in any case. I haven't really checked out to see if I have any more pieces of armor, but I don't think so. I guess these ones over here, like my accessories, are... Um, yeah, I have some upgrades for accessories in theory, but I'll, I'll like have to check out my entire gear set once I start dealing with uh, the optional dungeons, I think. That's when I'm actually going to like start really... Um, checking out some more things. Anyway, the space level 45. With my, um... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> With my party that is 10 levels below the recommended level. Hello. My turn. I guess we will see if you are weak to daggers. Yes. Thinking time. And there's wind. Um, there's another element. I do not know what, though. No. Um, I guess I'll just do analyze. Let whatever. Me look at you. Uh, axes. Okay. Let's go. Go on then. Let's see, monkey. He's buffing himself. My turn. Totally not terrifying. My turn. 
Uh, let me just go for this. Uh, I can't say I'm a fan of that. Why did you attack that one? <laughs> I wanted you to attack the other one. Um, let's go and just do your wounds. And I guess I will... Don't I have like a... Nullify their status ailments and enfeebling effects. The more you nullify, the more damage it does, right? Um, let's go for a rocket normal attack then. This is... This is terrifying. <laughs> and this is only the first encounter on this uh, road. And I even have buffs and everything, so... My turn. Thinking time. Thinking time. Uh, let me go into analyze and you to find your final weakness. Lightning. Okay. Um, I guess I can go into this. Strike them down. I'm gonna try to capture this thing with the chip. Final formation all. I have no idea what that does. Um, but this is a lot stronger. <laughs> I should just in general, I think, get these boys. No. Strike them down. Pooling time. You're too cool. What is this? It debuffs you, but also buffs you. It debuffs defense and increases offense. Ooh. That is an interesting thing to think about. Also terrifying. <laughs> you know. Um, I guess my Ethan Serpent is the best thing I can have right now. Okay, I'm just gonna kill this guy because, or try to indicate because I'm a little bit scared. All tidied up. Well, that battle took forever. Only a million more to go. <laughs> if I had to hazard a guess. You are must be but I guess not all of them are going to be as annoying as that one. Time. Well, well. Here we go. Come on, then. Thinking time. We're either weak to wind or lightning. I probably should have, you know, targeted the one that we're still gonna be able to attack. Oh well. Ready? I'm just going to do this, because I'm curious. One damage. What does that do again? I don't remember. Um, I am not going to do that. I will just... Um, Actually, no, wait. I have multiple of them. Let's just go in there just for a Calculations complete. 
Uh... <laughs> I'm thinking, my friends. I'm using my noggin. I've seen worse methods. Would have liked it if I got like more XP though from these enemies. For their power level, I'm not really getting that much. But I guess it depends on which ones, because like these ones over here are from other from other uh, roads. So. I really need stronger monsters for her. Well, well. Pierce the wings of frost. Here I go. I know no cure for evil. A sun shield. Can I, please? Thank you. Recover HP after performing an action. That's pretty good. You can have the platinum shield on. But I find it very interesting how like the first encounter I encountered in this route was um, like literally the worst one. <laughs> I was like, alright, I'm doing this giant ant eater and a fucking monkey king. Um, I should really go and catch more of these bigger boys. Because she cannot really do that much damage because of... Um, because of stuffs. I know no cure. But I specifically need like AOE things. Let's play. All right, monkeys. Big, big monkeys. Um, they're all weak to daggers, so. Well, well. Um, and then two of them are weak to ice. Thinking time. Pierce the wings of frost. My turn. Uh, right. My Now I kind of want to know what your thing is. Double cleave. And yours is Meteor Impact. Uh, I don't know what that is, but it sounds pretty cool. Let me go and do this. What to do? I'll go and try to catch this, uh, this big boy over here. here I go. She doesn't really have anything to break this guy with, though. No. Feel my wrath. Let's go and do element of barrage and just pray that I get a lot of lightning. Well, not bad, honestly. Meter clean. Okay, yeah, that's a, just a big all hitting. Attack, which is good enough for me, honestly. Here I go. Um, this should not kill it. I thought I was hitting it with the axe, but no. Anyway, get in here. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the anteater because that one. I can't really say that I like. I don't like lowering my defenses. <laughs> I really don't like doing that in this game. Also, also is still dead. I thought they would revive after a battle, but no, they just stay dead. Uh, 
Well, this it's useful, you know, that I now know that, you know, <laughs> first aid can revive people. So more. Okay, so it's a two and a, and a three. I want to see what the the second ape thing has. Let's see. What do you have? Double cleave all. Hmm. Interesting. Also, keep forgetting that she has this. Um. Oh, she also has like this freaking stuff. Jesus, man. <laughs> it's too much in this game. Okay. So I can now technically use this, but that would only be like good for Go on, a single target attack. No. Strike them down. Here I go. Can I capture you with this? No. Um, I will need to stun you first. Let's get the lightning elemental back in. No. Calculations complete. Strike them down. This should be good enough to catch the. Yeah, that one. Okay. Probably shouldn't have boosted that, but whatever. Do I have anything that's like single target? Yes. No. Give me this boy. Um, I will get rid of my elemental, I guess. My turn. Oh yeah, let's go for it. I know no cure for evil. Yeah, I do feel like it's gonna take a little bit before we. Um, before the battles are gonna become gonna become like more of a breeze again. All right, let me go and enter this town just so I can fast travel there. And let's go and get the remaining stuff in this place. Life is too precious to risk. Wind? Mm -hmm. It's always wind. Not much thinking to be done, Oswald. Since you have none of the weaknesses. I guess I can just go and do that. Should probably also check what these enemies are weak to. Well, also, I do have these ones here. Yeah. We go Here we go. Poison storm all. Yes. Um, I'll get rid of my arrows. What? Usually, the enemies that are weak to arrows are like tend to be weak to um this other stuff too. Um, sure, whatever. Footed, Whoa, that's a sword and a half. I didn't even notice that. Feel my wrath. I call down the light. Hmm. I've seen worse weapons.
Payment of mind only death awaits those who linger here. Sure. You fool. <laughs> Battle of wits. I need a plan. Um Burn bright, oh sacred flame. Some variety for that. What to do? So this can go either one of two ways. Either I'm gonna get absolutely wrecked. Or this is going to go fine. Um, either way, this is a scary encounter, I think. Let me go into this. Uh, yeah, sure. Nice. The only one who is weak to that, miss. What? what? <laughs> okay. Uh, are you weak to daggers? No. Play Fang. 700 damage. And now he has a counter on him, I'm pretty dang sure. Um, let's go and do this. Okay, one of them is weak to axes. This is an annoying encounter, huh? I guess we're gonna do it like this then, one by one. Ow. Okay. Um, I would like for you to die. I call down the light. Ready? Uh, wow, this thing. Okay, this is this is this is not gonna end well. It's almost as if the game warned me for it. Um, let me go and do this and defusing. Time for your medicine. Thank you, Cassie. No. Wow, just fucking <laughs> Okay. The flame bringer shall save. Underestimate me. What to do? What to I am not gonna survive this encounter. Um I think that's pretty dang obvious. Can I flee from this? Hmm, okay. Run. So, I am not strong enough. The end. Um, well, at least that's something to know for the future. Or to forget about in the future. <laughs> I think is a more apt thing. Can I put markers on the map? Is that a thing I can do? No. Okay. Well, I will... I'll come back later on. Maybe I should write this down. Honestly. Um, I think I'm gonna go and do that. Where is this? Uh, if I recall correctly, I did have a paper. I did have a piece of paper for this. Ah, there it is. Well, this is a different piece of paper, but whatever. Well, it's... Whatever, it's marked back to a piece of paper. Man, you're still writing a paper in 2023? Yes. <laughs> what else am I going to use this like abundance of paper and pen for? Uh, where am I going to write this down? If my pen wants to work in any case. There we go. Check Western Mary Hill Pass. This is also, uh, like, this is also one of the first times that I'm gonna, like, normally I write everything down in, like, um, I don't even know what it is called in English. Um, in any case, now I'm writing in cursive. I didn't write cursive for a long time, but now I'm again. Um, because I want to, I want to get my, I want to make my cursive a little bit better. TVH. Okay, the day crew, which is Throne, um... Then, is it Hikari? Yes, Hikari for 
fighting people and Agnia for checking out to see if they are any good. All right, wee another. Oh, you don't even work here. Sorry about that. The singer was popular was a, was a popular touring act just ten years prior. He performed in cavernous the theaters, and even earned the favor of the nobility. The sudden fame and fortune overwhelmed him, and now he seeks solace at the bottom of every glass. His mellifluous mel voice has lost the time. The rolling ballad caused a curious effect to occur one time. We. That's a scary little thing. Merhios is a town dedicated to the arts, artists and, uh, and entertainers from the world over settled here. A woman working at the tavern. She negotiated, negotiated with the owner on behalf of her actors, of her actor grandfather and was given permission for him to perform his one-man show in a small corner. She has been the most enthusiastic attendee of his nightly performances ever since. Cleave in two and more stuff, including a sprightly basis. Festive tune. Raise the physical attack of one target for three turns. I saved. Uh, I saved dramatic performance of the Legend of the Eight Gods, which should be a hit. An inspector dispatched by the Order of the Sacred Flame, which regards the arts and encla the arts enclave of Mary Hills to be a potential breeding ground for heresy. Though the Order allows for them for a modest of freedom of expression, they are ever watchful and seek to nip heresy in the bud. Elemental robes, huh? Nice. Warding minuet. Greetings, I am Yujas. I have been traveling the world in search of a goddess. And lo, my search has come to an end, for I see now that it was you I have been searching for. An itinerant scoundrel, skilled at winning women's hearts and whittling his way into their homes. His insincere behavior is reminiscent of a love-starved child. Wait, what is March of Strength? Crit rate from one target, okay. There's no greater waste, uh, no greater waste than the labors of someone without talent. A renowned and immensely influential dem a dramatist with several famous works to his name. Though his genius is undeniable, his arrogance and violent disposition have given him a dubious reputation. Negative rumors abound, especially regarding his poor reputation among women. Plot twist. <laughs> I like that. Interesting. Nocturne of Sang. Raise the elemental attack of the target. Okay. For a certain amount of turns. Do you sell any new herb stuff? No. I'll just talk with the latest fashions. The latest happening is too much for me. A woman born and raised here, now raising a family of her own. She pretends to have little interest in the tales of the city of city life her childhood friend uh, regales her with, but secretly regrets never having lived anywhere else. Ooh. It's only 15% though, so... Um, just as I thought, this town cannot compete with Nildelsta. A clothing and accessories designer from Nildelsta who finds herself returning to her hometown after several years away. She boasts of the many, uh, the many wonders of the big city to her childhood friends, but secretly finds life, uh, city life exhausting and regrets ever having left. Quick cloak. Mm. She's not that strong, so I can just beat her up, maybe. Get around and feast your eyes on this knife. I assure you, this is no ordinary, ordinary blade. A merchant renowned for his lively product, uh, product demonstrations and resounding speeches. He once sold 300 of his special ordered knives in a day, and his storytelling has earned him a legion of fans. Crystal Dagger, Obsidian Dagger, and Diamond Dagger. The big D. Bloody bonus. I have no idea what that is. I'll come back to like some of these special looking names of like skills later on. When, you know, <laughs> Ikari is stronger. How about some fresh baked bread? It's delicious, I guarantee it. The young daughter of a baker whose small breads make for popular snacks among those who visit the town. She wanders the streets by day, advertising her father's breads to set visitors. I'll take my daughter helps me sell my breads. She's far better at it than I've ever been. A baker of many years, he does not have a shop, uh, preferring to sell directly to folk on the street. Or to those who place orders with him. His sandwiches and sweetbreads alike enjoy uh, sterling reputations. High voltage. 
His skills are a healing grave. <laughs> Interesting skills. I've well and truly lost. Uh, I mean, I've well and truly lost in life for a number of reasons. Okay. The young man who arrived in this town with little more than broken dreams. He suffered some sort of setback and will tell anyone within earshot how the setback has wounded him. Inquire further, however, and he will refuse to elaborate. Platinum Helm. Hmm. This seems to be like the way to go like farther into town. An artist must be free to pursue their dreams, and I wish to be there for one such artist. Young man who wishes to propose to the woman he's, cor he's courted for years. Unfortunately, her singular focus on becoming a dramatist leaves him precious little time to do so. All for you, Grancy Target, the ability to dodge one physical attack. My hard work will be rewarded, I just know it. Woman who dreams of becoming a dramatist, just when it seems her hard work would never pay off, the dramatist she admires most agreed to which she admires most agreed to take her on as an apprentice. She has never been more motivated. A lot of these people have like high voltages in attack. Which is interesting. Oh, just in here. May as well get these things. Hmm. Use all weapons. Okay. Or just like gear. Poetry is not a group of words on the page, nor is it some crass commodity. It is an expression of the soul. An anonymous poet which stands on the corner, humming to himself, he is in fact an incredibly famous poet and the author of The Arrival of Antiquity. However, when he chooses to hide his identity, a few, a few stop to hear his poems. Poetry of the Soul. Healing Veil. Hmm. Welcome, one and all. I shall now make these objects disappear. But you should know that this is all a sleight of hand and nothing will actually disappear. An unfailingly honest ma magician who cannot in good conscience deceive others. Though his punch, a penchant for explaining each trick before it's performed seems certain... To doom him to obscurity, recently people have come to appreciate it as part of the performance. Showtime. The drive to work hard is an invaluable skill all its own. At least, that's what I found. An old man who uh, who was once a great actor, he thrilled many an audience with, uh, on many a great stage, but eventually had a falling out with his co-star and left the uh, acting behind. These days he performs a small one-man show in the local tavern. Wait. Yeah, nothing. With all the entertainers gathered in town, the crowds and the merchants who sell them have descended. A famous elderly hunter with a particularly uh, with a particular method of hunting, though no one knows what that is, for he does it alone in the de in the dead of night. He has taken no apprentice, ensuring he will take his techniques to the grave. And he has squall of arrows, which I think is the thing I already have. Um, then he has incinerate for this. Okay. See anything unusual? You haven't, right? A soldier guarding the thoroughfare, or so he seems, in actuality is a pickpocket. But it's called into action whenever problems occur, which leaves him little time to steal anything. Yoink. Do not disturb me, I am embracing the solitude. Manager of a group of eight dancers. The dancers, however, find his instructions an intrusion uh, on their perfectly synchronized choreography and voted to ban him from attending practice sessions. <laughs> oh my god. This way so much better at night. Young boy in love with the arts, he enjoys wandering the town square each day and watching the various entertainers perform their crafts. He considered becoming an entertainer himself, but his mother put a stop to that. Huh. You ever think about how much work it takes behind uh, behind the scenes to put on a dazzling performance? 
A former Grand Gala dancer who is now mother to a boy with entertainment aspirations of his own. She knows firsthand how hard it is to please the audiences, and as such feels she cannot unconditionally support her son in his endeavors. Unfailing speed. I have no idea what that skill is. Motherly filter. Okay. Lots of random goodies. Will this gramophone contraption and its uh, records really revolutionize music? An itinerant, uh, itinerant musician who has wandered all over the world. He recently learned of something called the gramophone and had one of his songs made into a record. Unfortunately, it is a record he cannot uh, play, for he has no idea how to use a gramophone. Oh, this is the gramophone stuff. It's like, what the hell is this? She gets her boys in volleyball and she's excited. Apologies. A man traveling the world with his wife. He lived to work, but took an adv advance on his retirement payment so he and his wife could take the first trip together. He wants to say clever things to his wife, but his taciturn, awkward nature has thus uh, far stymied him. Ah, the famous shrine of Ulstera. How I've longed to lay eyes on it. I'm so moved I could weep. A loquacious woman traveling the world with her husband. She actually contracted a, f a contracted a fatal disease and doesn't have long to live. So she agreed to take this trip while she can still get around. Though her husband isn't good at words, she knows that he speaks from the heart and is eternally grateful to him for his care. Give it back. Give it back. The letters we W S are carved into the box. Give it back. That box. Ever since I got that box, I I please get it away from me. Thank you. Right. Okay. Well, this is convenient. <laughs> Let me go and stop over to the night crew. This would be Oswald for beating people up, Temenos for beating people up mentally, and Agnea to get free stuff, perhaps. You know, I feel as though I've met the fellow putting in a one-man show over there. Give me all of your stuff, please. Time. <laughs> Where was I? That hole. <laughs> so sorry. Very well. No, really. Oh. Where was I? Holy lot. It's kind of crazy, but my allergies have been going fucking bonkers the last couple of days. <laughs> It's ridiculous. The young actor filled with vigor. As a child, he fell in love with a particular actor's uh, performance and decided to pursue the same path in hopes of one day sharing the stage with his hero. Upon hearing the actor had left the world of theater, he began a quiet search for the man. Oh, yeah. I have already checked that guy out. Hello. So, you're not that strong, so... What do you think you're doing? I refuse to comply. I like my arms. Hmm. Indulge. Concentrate. I need a plan. Indulge. 
I am just gonna do... Like, Elemental Barrage is still one of the best things to use, I feel. Against these encounters. More! Thinking time. I've also noticed that I need to you know, heal up. Okay. I've gained valuable insight. A wood. A worthwhile endeavor. I got a forgotten hat. I still need to go and heal up, honestly. Um, no, oh, whatever. This is a very weak person, so. Ah, what are you doing? I like my Taking your stuff. I need a plan. Quite simple, really. Found a weakness. <laughs> Poor aim. Poor aim. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. But also love this. Also, I don't even think I need to go and heal because I heal a certain percentage on my own. Oh, guys, almost back at full uh, SP. This guy's still here. Hello, sir. You are relatively strong, actually. Meh. I guess we can see how it goes. Hand it over. Absolutely not. <laughs> I like my god. Uh. Right, speak to Kane. <laughs> Bloody bonus. That is a lot of attacks. Um. Let's just go for this one's for me. A healing grape and see what happens. Okay, yeah, this guy's not somebody to mess with. Um, cool. <laughs> so at least I now know that that level of people is just too much. Okay. It do be like that. Oh. <laughs> I almost missed this chest. Wouldn't be the first chest I've missed. I'm pretty dang sure. That's all the people. The energy and passion of all these expressive people have been so has been so stimulating. Um, give me all of your... Possessions. <laughs> Give me all of your possessions, including your knowledge. To work. Hmm. Back off. Where was I? <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh dear. That's a little bit annoying. Okay. Where was I? Um I don't think I've tried ice yet. No? I guess I can try fire, but... Okay, at least I have one weakness. Let me go and do a elemental brush and I'm just hoping I can get a lot of fire. I got one fire. 
to work. Really not. Just no fire at all. I guess I'll just do it like this then. I just had an idea. With any attack, you say? Elemental Barrage. Oh. That's interesting. A designer who has created numerous creati creative and fashionable pieces. She also designs the costumes for many of the theater productions in New Delta. Her techniques and sensibilities sit on the cutting edge, meaning the fashion world has its eyes on her at all times. Out. What is the meaning of this? Like this is a robbery. The thinking time. Fire. Burn. Fire. Burn. Study harder. A wood. Now, yeah, I'm still gonna do a heal up time because he took himself a beating in half. I would never have expected this place to be the beating ground of such fresh talent. Um, okay. That's pretty strong. Let's see if I can do this or not. There's a weakness to ice. Fervent melody. A new beginning. A new beginning. How could I fall? Okay. Um, I have an idea. I have a wondrous, wondrous idea. Um, Temenos. How about you get... Wait, I... Hmm. Let me check something for a second first. Okay, she doesn't have that. You should have that, though. Right? No? Um... Hmm. Let me just go and get... So, boost starts... Hang tough. And I think full power is the one I need. Uh, max HP, da da, raise again. This is a nice skill though, but at the same time. Oh, yes. Yes! <laughs> Just turning back into a scholar. Uh, let me go and heal you up again. Okay, so now imagine. Imagine my surprise, I... as I now have a perfect <laughs> idea. Because I can now do this, this, an elemental barrage. Thumbs up. That's a good strat for him. In any case, for when I'm getting information. The writer of countless famous songs, including All For You, which was sung by the superstar Dulcinea. He wrote the song on the day his daughter was born, and the song describes a parent's desire to dedicate their lives to their children. That was not worth the effort, but whatever. I love singing for a cry, I've never been more excited in my life. I... <laughs> there 
Very good. The younger of two sisters will sing in harmony. She is gregar gregarious and outgoing and collaborates with many other singers. She has impeccable technique and can also uh, can fit her alto in alongside almost any other singer. She enjoys looking after her sister in her spare time. Okay, now I think I'm going to go and also give you the boost start. So since I don't care about damage in this particular thing, uh, let me go and give you this. Not very fond of seeing in front of a crowd. Oh, I'm so nervous. I... <laughs> it's not even... It's not even worth using the other one. Not even, used for, not, not even worth using my other thing. I cannot speak anymore. Help me. The older of two sisters with sings in harmony. She has a stunning soprano and her shyness prevents her from performing with anyone but her sister. When singing alone, she becomes so nervous that she cannot hit the right notes. She can't function without her sister. Not a lot of bustling crowds. can ask for more than that. I... <laughs> A man who carries all the items entertainers need for their performances, including irreplaceable goods and dangerous implements like fireworks. He is the unsung hero of the entertainers and by extension the Times Prosperity. Mm. Laughing performer, just laughs. Maniacal laughter. Time. <laughs> To work. <laughs> I was lucky with that weakness. A performer who laughs his way through his entire act, which has had the unfortunate side effect of essentially freezing his face in a grin. Ooh. No one accepts his uh, sincerest apologies, and he doesn't dare check in on sick friends, let alone attend funerals. That's so bad. The human statue. I... <laughs> <laughs> An entertainer who specializes in standing completely still, clap in front of his face and he won't even finish, light a fire near him and you'll see no sign of nerves. The only time he broke character was upon receiving news that his wife safely gave birth to their child. Tears of joy streamed down his face. Oh my god. Oh. Hmm. Brought on vulgar acts, every last one of them. Shameful, really. I... A scholar who professes that literature is the highest form of art while loudly and repeatedly denouncing song and dance as harmful diversions. His own work, however, his own works, however, are not the least bit creative nor artful. Frankly, they are boring. Also, this is just something that I can't see. Yeah, Hello. Mm, tonight's act isn't so good. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme! Ornate costume. Okay, back up a little more. I remind you, these do explode. I... How many shields <laughs> do you have? Four. <laughs> yes! The power!
The power of using my fucking brain for once. A fire-loving entertainer from Hiroma, he came to show off his fireworks, which are made from crushed up soul stones formed into balls. They explode beautifully when fired into the sky, but he refused to divulge the secrets behind her making. making, making. No, what was I just doing? I feel like I've been dreaming for a long time. Time. <laughs> A youth who collects items of ethically dubious provenance. Since obtaining a mysterious box some time ago from a traveling merchant, he has been a magnet for inexplicable phenomena. He considers this all part of the fun of collecting. Oh dear, the entertainers are as excited as the attendees, which always spells trouble. <laughs> An apothecary ready to respond to emergency at a moment's notice. She has her hands full every night taking care of those injur injured from fights. From fights. Dancers with sprained ankles, folks who collapse from a drink or lack of sleep, fire breathers who burn their mouths and more. And I'm the, uh, and I'm beasting that. Hey, you got it backwards. Keep this up, and I will bite you. Sixty. Wow. I. <laughs> Very good. Ha. A former dancer turned comedian. After a series of twists and turns, she met a beastling and the two embarked on the road to comedy together. They would later be known as a legendary comedic duo. But that is another story. Good. Quit messing around, I can't bear another second of this. I like my arms. Thinking time. Uh, do you have a weakness against Keynes? Yes, you do. No. Try again. Thinking. No. Ray just had to do mental augmentation, huh? Feel my wrath. I actually wonder what the percentages are now. Because I really don't know. I wonder like the percentages of like HP um like sorry it's bigger, like the defensing like defense and offense increasing things. I wonder how much it actually does. Study harder. Welcome, we are Beauty and the Beasting. I am Beauty, the comic relief. Yoink. A comedian whose popularity is on the rise in recent years, thanks to her beastling impersonating act. Or at least that's how it looks. She is, in fact, a beastling, but a masterful linguistic skills keeper secret safe. Right. Let's go back to the lower part of town and see if there's any more hidden items for me to pick up. Uh, no. Okay. So after all of that, my friends, we have finished this town and the road towards this town, at least for the most part. Um, the only thing that I'm still missing in that particular uh, road is the uh, thief encounter, which I couldn't deal with because they killed me. <laughs> so, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this episode of just I was playing 
Octopath Traveler 2, and next episode we are going to go and make our way over to the next town on the road. Um, which is... Another town, which I don't remember the name of. <laughs> or don't know, really. Anyway, goodbye.